Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on here at ArcleTexHomePage.com and the ArcleTexHomePage.com app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses and it has been a hot start to the weekend, but the good news for us, we'll begin to see those temperatures drop off in some locations tomorrow. The cool down should get to everybody else as we move through the uh, early portions of the upcoming week, but uh, again today we've been short on the rainfall and long on the sunshine, so a look at the conditions as of this afternoon. Shreveport and Texarkana shows uh, most of us in the mid to upper 90s once again, and of course with that high humidity it has felt like it's over, well over 100 degrees today so it hasn't uh, really been a whole lot of fun to be outside especially in the afternoon got to get up early to beat that heat and that will be the case for uh, many of us tomorrow but we do have some definite changes on the way within the next 24 hours or so look at pinpoint doppler uh, we do have some thunderstorms popping up mainly south of interstate 20 today but some of the short range forecast models are showing some rain popping up across southern arkansas tonight fairly active pattern now developing across kansas Oklahoma and uh, north central Texas. You can see that line of thunderstorms popping up just to the west of the Dallas area. Should stay there for most of the night, and those storms will weaken as they move towards the Arkletex tomorrow morning. But it's that same general weather pattern shifting into uh, our region that is going to bring us uh, increasing chance for rain and thunderstorms, especially later in the day Sunday and for much of the day on Monday. So look at the uh, severe storm risk, like we've seen here for the uh, the past month or so. Some of these th summer thunderstorms can produce some high wind gusts, so the storm prediction center monitoring that across the uh, northern Arkletex tomorrow again on that one to five scale marginal risk that we have out tomorrow is the lowest severe weather classification meaning maybe one or two of those storms will be capable of producing some high wind gusts and I think lightning will be the main thing especially if, uh, if you do have outdoor plans in some of the waterways tomorrow that we'll need to be looking out for and then uh, Monday we'll see that severe weather threat shift a little bit further to the east but it does include more of our areas in uh, Texas and also northwest Louisiana and same threat Monday it does look like some high wind gusts will be the uh, primary severe weather issue if we do see anything and uh, no guarantee that we'll see any severe weather threat but just that the dynamics are there and uh, basically the ingredients in the atmosphere for a few strong storms there so our uh, Robbins Toyota a Texarkana future cast showing you uh, fairly quiet conditions tonight I think it'll be partly cloudy and you'll notice there will be some rain that pops up uh, across Arkansas and then shifts to the south this is uh, our particular model that it is showing that and we do have some of the other short range uh, weather models from the weather service that are showing the same thing so uh, just be mindful of that don't be surprised if you do hear a little rain pop up especially across southern Arkansas as we go through the overnight hours tonight and for Sunday I think we'll start out partly cloudy so if you do have outdoor plans, yard work, uh, some of that typical weekend stuff you're trying to take care of early in the day honestly looks fine for us. And as those storms uh, start to pop up late in the day Sunday, those storms that uh, kind of weaken in Texas and Oklahoma tonight will send some of those outflow boundaries in. And we also have a cold front that will be arriving late in the day Sunday. So a, a good bet that we will see that rain and thunderstorm activity pop up across the northern Arkletex Sunday night. But notice further to the south may not see much, uh, if any, rainfall Sunday. But as this front continues to the south, there's that line of showers and thunderstorms ongoing Monday morning. So uh, between I-20 and I-30, there could be a messy commute for that Monday morning and then we'll continue to see those uh, on again off again or scattered thunderstorms through the day on Monday and actually the heaviest rain that we see over the next three days may occur uh, late Monday into early Tuesday as that cold front pushes through uh, what's left of the uh, warm air across the region so tonight no change in the overnight lows settling into the 70s for us and your afternoon highs tomorrow notice most of us there in the mid 90s but we will see some locations across Arkansas due to the uh, earlier arrival of the rain and cloud cover topping out in the 80s there We'll take in for a closer look. You see even New Boston could be in the upper 80s tomorrow. But I think I-20 and south will stay uh, south of the front, south of the rainfall through the day. So it will be another hot day for us with high temperatures in the mid-90s. And you'll like the temperatures there across southern Arkansas as most of us will top out in the 80s. Same thing over into McCurtain County, mid to upper 80s. So still a warm day, but uh, just not the oppressive heat we've seen here for the past few days. Rainfall totals will take you now through Thursday. Uh, generally about an inch or less in most locations but we will have some beneficial rain across the northern Arkletex once again, maybe an inch and a half to uh, two inches of rainfall in those locations. That did help out with the drought conditions over the last week and uh, hoping that will help out over the next week as well. And eventually the temperatures drop. It may take a few more days for us, uh, upper 80s and low 90s. A good bet Monday should be comfortable temperature-wise. And even after the rain clears out, uh, normal high about 93, 94 this time of the year. I think those afternoon highs will be at or below normal for much of the upcoming week. So kind of music to our ears here. And uh, overnight lows with that drier air coming in. See the winds turn to the north 
north there Tuesday and Wednesday, what that will do is cut off that uh, just kind of sweltering Gulf humidity that we've seen and we've just kind of suffered through here for the past few days and we'll get the dry air in place thanks to that north wind and that will allow our overnight lows to dip into the 60s for several nights as we move through the upcoming week.